four, five, six, seven, eight. Don't mind me. I'm just counting the amount of reasons people are moving here to Maryland and absolutely loving it. Now, if you wanna learn more about Maryland or you're planning on making the move here to Maryland, this is the video for you. And if you stay to the end, I'm gonna throw in a bonus reason people love living here. Stick around and let's get after it right now. To kick things off, we have number eight, and that's that Maryland is very much so a commuter friendly area to live in. Now, before all you guys hop in the comments and roast me for the fact that there's a ton of traffic here in Maryland, I'm well aware of that. But let's also remember that the state of Maryland is quite small. And what that means for you is when you're driving around, it is quite easy to hop into different states if you're looking to go visit them, looking to go on vacation. Uh, for example, you can hop into Pennsylvania, Delaware, DC, West Virginia, Virginia, all within about an hour's drive. Now that also depends on where you are within Maryland. If you're across, across the Bay Bridge, of course it's gonna be longer, but for the most part, it's about an hour. Now I'd also like to mention that there's a ton of major highways we have here like I-70, I-270, I-495, I-695 um, to make sure you can get from point A to point B in a smooth fashion. Whether you live in a certain community, it may be easier for you to get into certain highways. It's also nice that you can work in these major cities if you're relocating here for a job and live outside of them and commute within an hour or so max. The western part of Maryland, typically you're gonna get more for your money. And then if you're looking to live in Bethesda, DC area or close to DC before you cross that border, uh, like Rockville, Silver Spring, it's gonna be a lot more expensive, including living in Howard County or um, towards Annapolis can get quite pricey as well. Hold on, wait a minute, I gotta introduce myself. I never did that, it would be rude of me not to. So my name is Sean Maker 80 and this is the premier channel to learn all about Maryland living. If that's something that interests you, go ahead and smash that subscribe button. It would mean the world to me. And if you're planning on moving here to Maryland, you have any questions or you're on your way, feel free to give me a phone call, text, email. Just like these guys, I love helping you guys find your dream home here in Maryland. Now let's hop back into the eight reasons people are constantly moving here to Maryland. Number seven is a big one, and it's one of the reasons a lot of people migrate to this area, and that's the fact that there's a lot going on here. There's a lot of vibrant urban centers for you to go meet new people, go eat dinner, go uh, bowling, go watch a movie in one of those nicer movie theaters um, that you can lay down in, as well as bars, restaurants, you name it, we have it here in Maryland. There's definitely a plethora of downtowns for you to go check out, whether it be downtown Crown, uh, Rio and Gaithersburg, or you can go down to downtown Silver Spring where their Fillmore is. It's an indoor concert venue that has a ton of great artists that they bring in. Uh, downtown Bethesda, Rockville, all within like a 10, 20 mile radius, you have a ton of things to do towards DC. Let's not also forget about DC being right there, Baltimore or Annapolis. There's tons of things to do here in Maryland. Number six is the amount of areas within Maryland that give you like a historical charm feeling. For example, downtown Frederick, Ellicott City, Annapolis, just to name a few, have a ton of history within those areas and their downtown scenes are absolutely stunning. A lot of historical buildings there, you can go to museums, you can have people walk you around and really point out all the different areas through a guided tour, uh, whether it be the Battle Monoxy here in Frederick or anywhere within Maryland, you'll see that there is some sort of history around here. And then you can even go down to DC and you can get a, look at all the history there and all the museums. Now, if you live here, it's kind of a given that you're gonna be going to DC a lot. So that is an option, especially if you have relatives coming to visit you. Coming from experience, we're always in DC showing people around. But you also have uh, Gettysburg right up the road that has a ton of history that you can learn about. So if you're a history buff, Maryland might be the spot for you. Number five is that here in Maryland, we have really strong healthcare facilities. Now to name some of the hospitals, we have MedStar, Walter Reed, um, Johns Hopkins, which is one of the most well-renowned hospitals in the entire world, as well as University of Maryland Medical School Center located in Baltimore. Um, as well as if you cross the border, you can go into DC, which is not too far away um, for Children's Hospital as well. So when we're talking about all the hospitals and all the research centers and clinic clinics at your fingertips, Maryland is a really good place to live. Number four is the wide range of menus that we have here. Now, I'm not gonna be like every single other person say, we have amazing places to go shop, amazing places to go eat. Let's be honest, every single place here in the United States has those things. 
But here in Maryland, what makes it special is the fact that we have four seasons here. We can go snowboarding in the wintertime. We can go wakeboarding and be on a boat in the summertime, as well as go hiking, uh, go trail running or mountain biking, go kayaking, all those fun different things throughout the year. Uh, mainly one of my favorites is the fact that we can go uh, in beautiful weather and watch a uh, football game, whether it be the Washington Commanders, also known as the Redskins, or we can go watch uh, the Baltimore Ravens play and all these different sporting events throughout the year. So here in Maryland, there is a ton of different things to do, especially because of the landscape and the topography that we have here in Maryland, as well as the weather. So that's one of the main reasons I see people moving here to Maryland is the wide variety of things that you can do. Number three is the quality education these students are getting while they live here in Maryland. The question I get from a lot of my clients before they move here and relocate is what are the best school districts, what are the best public schools, what are the best private schools that my kids should go into. Now that is a big deal to know because it determines the location of where you're living here within Maryland. But I'll say here, you can learn a lot about these schools through niche.com or greatschools.org. So if you're looking to learn more, feel free to reach out. I can send you those links. They'll also be in the description below. But Maryland schools, whether it be public school or private school, are very much so ahead of the curve when we're talking about the education these students are getting. Number two is location. Maryland is situated in one of the best areas, I think, on the East Coast. We're not all the way north where it's absolutely freezing, nor all the way south where it's really only warm most of the time, which I kind of would prefer, but I absolutely love Maryland. There's nothing wrong with it. I like having winter time. But when you're super close to DC, you're super close to Delaware, West Virginia, um, you have Philly with PA, as well as New York, all within a driving distance, it's really a big deal. It allows you to go do a lot of different things where it's not a huge hassle. I mean, people are flying in from across the world to go to DC and New York alone, and those are within what, five hours max of a drive? So that's, I think that's really cool about Maryland. So the location is really good. Number one is employment opportunities that we have here within Maryland. You'll see a lot of people migrating here to Maryland for job opportunities. And that's because we're super close to DC as well as Annapolis, Baltimore. Uh, I've said this a million times. We're around a lot of major areas for you to be able to find job opportunities or to be able to get into a new job that you're relocating for. Now, as mentioned earlier, I promised I would give you my my top reason that I love living here in Maryland and why I think you should move here. And it's a controversial one, but it is the fact that you get four seasons here. I get to go snowboarding in the winter time. I get to go enjoy football games in the fall with a flannel on. And then I could get to go in the summertime. I can go out to a lake. I can go mountain biking. I can go uh, hiking. I can do it all. And here, that's something people hate or they love. They either love the fact that they get to do all the things that I just mentioned or the fact that they hate it and they just want summertime all the time, like warm weather, like Cali weather or Florida weather. But here in Maryland, you just don't get that. Now, if you're planning on moving here to Maryland, feel free to give me a phone call, text, email, days, nights, weekends. We absolutely love helping people just like you relocate here to Maryland. And I'll catch you guys in the next one.